<laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Sea Man, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the Sea Man's Cinema Sit Down. I am not home. I am out at the office. Um, we're going to take a little lunch break uh, to sit down and watch this trailer. Uh, it's one I've been waiting for. I know a lot of us have been waiting for it. Um, and I was hoping to get it up even sooner than I got it. But uh, I was having issues downloading the trailer. Then I had like three work calls to hop on. And from what I have taken from the world of the internet... Uh, this trailer is a little funky. Uh, I'm not <laughs> quite sure exactly what it's going to look like yet for you guys because this is not a normal uh, trailer as far as like the format that it is in. What am I talking about? Why don't you pull up a chair? Take a seat. We're getting ready to dive in and take a look at the official trailer for The Wheel of Time, or as, uh, as Amazon Prime is calling it, The Wheel of Time main trailer, 360 Experience. Um, from what I understand on YouTube, this video uh, allows you to move and look around in a 360 degree world. And when I downloaded the video, um, it just puts like the trailer in this little tiny little window and then there's all this stuff around it. So I'm gonna try watching this twice. From what I've heard, um, it seems like if you are moving around during the trailer, you might see different stuff looking at different places. It's supposed to be interactive. That makes it a little bit more difficult for me uh, as a, the, reacting to it. But we are, uh, we're going we're gonna to watch it. I'm going to watch it first on YouTube so that it's just the screen with the trailer. And then I'll, I'll see what I can do in the editing. Whereby I do know that the video file I downloaded, uh, it shows like all of the space around where the, the viewer is. So I'm thinking maybe if we watch it a second time that way, we might be able to see what all that extra content is. But I want to just get a clean look at the trailer itself. So I'm going to watch that on, on YouTube. And then we'll pull up that 360 uh, version of it so I can see everything that's going on and hopefully react to as much of this as I can. Because the Wheel of Time fan base has been just so awesome uh, it's one of the things i've really enjoyed this year more than any other year on my channel is getting involved with all these different fandoms that i don't come from personally um had a great time with the shadow and bone folks um had an even better time with the doonies uh the doonies actually got me to read all of dune and i've now started dune messiah and when i say read i mean listen to it on audible um and so many of you uh wheel of time fans have told me things that i should read should check out i know that there's a graphic novel um but a lot of you have also said don't read anything go in blind so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take your advice i'm gonna go into this blind if i absolutely adore this the way i hope that i'm going to adore this i think maybe going down the audible pathway and starting to read the books taking a look at the graphic novel is definitely something i would be interested in because i love getting to dive into these fandoms where other people come from and while having you know something like dune where i read the book and then got to see the movies i was super excited even more excited for that fan base. And that's how I feel with this. Um, while I'm not going to have any of the book knowledge going into the show, uh, as we're just a couple weeks away, uh, I do look forward to kind of going on this ride with you, having you guys inform me on stuff. I'm going to try to watch these uh, and do like weekly watches where it's episode by episode so you get reviews for everything. I want to have discussions with you guys. And more than anything, like while I'm hyped based on what I see and what I know from just the world of fantasy and sci-fi and stuff, like... This is something that excites me, but it makes me even more excited for you, the true fans, the people who've been reading these books for all these years that know this whole story. It's so cool when you get to finally see something that's yours come to life on the big screen. So I'm so excited for you guys. I'm so honored and privileged to have so many of you welcome me in with uh, open arms. Uh, it's been it's been a real fun experience interacting with you guys off the teaser trailer. So I'm very, very excited to see uh, what the trailer holds for us. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get the trailer up. There it is. Uh, like I said, I still don't know exactly what you guys are seeing right now. I got to figure out how I can or cannot edit this video file. But I'm going to watch it in uh, my YouTube uh, window where it just is the trailer. And then, like I said, we'll watch it a second time and see what the 360 experience really was offering uh so let's not waste any more time and let's take a look at the main trailer not quite the 360 experience yet but we'll get there uh, for the wheel of time swear your oath moraine sedai i swear to speak no word that is not true to make no weapon with which one person may kill another and never to use the one power as a weapon let's make a sense of what you guys have told Servants of all. It is they who serve the world. 
a selling book series. I didn't choose this path, but I will follow it. Where next? The two rivers. The old blood runs deep in those mountains. Let's hope it's prepared them for what's coming. The Dark Ooh. One is waking. But there yes. will be one who can stand against him. And it's one of the five of you. Oh, that's cool. Really lost your mind. Your life isn't going to be what you thought. Moraine. What are those? His army is coming. Yo! <laughs> Let's go! Yo, oh, look at those creatures! We've lost too many people already. I can't lose you. You won't. If we do not stop the Dark One now, the whole world will burn. Oh. I can't allow it. <laughs> Dude, they're spending so much money on this. Holy crow. The wheel weaves as the wheel wills. Let's go! Dude, November 19th. You guys have me so jacked for this series. Hmm. No. Dude, I am so jacked for this. Uh, before we try to give it another go uh, in this 360 format with the video file that I have downloaded, um, first and foremost, just wow. I, like, I'm so intrigued by this world, man. Like, I, I'm still getting, like I said last time, you know, you got some Lord of the Rings vibes in there. There's some Thrones vibes in there. Honestly, the biggest vibe I think I really am getting from these trailers is uh, a, a bit of a Shadow and Bone vibe. Um, you know, with just the amount of magic that's going to be in this uh, world, just with the, the costume designs. Like, it, this just feels like a very, very familiar place for me right like even though this for me is something new um like this feels like a world that i am so excited and comfortable to dive into because it's familiar to worlds that i've dived into before in the realm of fantasy and i like that this trailer gave us a little bit more um you know for us newbies uh, a little bit more of a vibe of like okay you've got you know, Rosamund Pike uh, as Moraine uh, kind of leading this group of five people. And one of these five, it sounds like, is going to be like the hero, the person that's going to save the day, you know, and bring, bring you know, some order to things that are going on. And just like getting a little bit more of the vibe of like that this world is full of magic, that only women wield it because when men get a hold of it, it can go really, really badly. And then like... You want to talk about, like, hardcore Lord of the Rings vibes I was getting in here, man. Once all them monsters started showing up, man, they're like, I was, like, in my head that, that that far away shot was like, oh, man, that's like orcs. And then they were, like, like bull-type bees. But that was really, really dope. I am, I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. I cannot, I cannot wait uh, to, to see this thing in, in full and, uh, Shoot, we never do this on the channel, but like I said, I'm, I'm going to watch this trailer twice because from what I understand, this 360 experience was supposed to be, uh, you know, like kind of interactive to some degree. So I want to see if anything popped on the trailer, like if the trailer actually left the, the window that, that you could watch the trailer in. So what you are now going to be seeing as we, we change it up there uh, is this this 360 view where I can see everything around the trailer. Uh, I'm interested to see if the trailer kind of leaves and goes elsewhere. Like I, I was, I like read like a, a paragraph out of an article. So let's not waste uh, any more uh, of the time uh, while I just ramble here. Uh, let's let's take a look at the trailer again. Let's see if this 360 experience had anything to do, uh, you know, add, add, add anything to it. But like I said, what I'm seeing, man, like, they're spending all the money, and it's just got vibes that are familiar to worlds that I think non-readers should be able to jump right into this thing and enjoy it. So let's take a look at what this 360 experience uh, gives us uh, this time. Swear. swear your oath, Moraine Sedai. I swear to speak no word that is not true. To make no weapon with which one person may kill another. And never to use the one power as a weapon. Do you know what Aes Sedai means in the old time? Servants of all. It is they who serve the world. 
I didn't choose this path, but I will follow it. Where next? The two rivers. The old blood runs deep in those mountains. Let's hope it's prepared them for what's coming. That looked good. The Dark One is well. Is that horse like a skeleton? But there will be one who can stand against him. And it's one of the five of you. You fully lost your mind. Your life isn't going to be what you thought. I think this group is very strong. What are those? A lot of faces are not familiar with. What can we do? We protect the people we love. There's not really anything bad. No, that is a cost. Our enemies are everywhere. They will leave no one standing. You've lost too many people already. I can't lose you. You won't. If we do not stop the Dark One now, the whole world will burn. I can't allow it. Oh. The wheel weaves as the wheel wills. Didn't really, didn't really add anything. I'm not sure if this 360 experience was supposed to be. Think we'll go back. Home. Oh, some words here. Can't quite make them out. No. Yeah, that, that's weird. I don't know why they did that. Like, is it different if I watch it? But you know, like, it looks like it's got good, good and bad side. Oh, there's like, oh, okay, I see. There's like faces coming in and out of the ether. Honestly, not. There's like things moving around in this dark and light ether. Oh, there's. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, it seems like seems like a lot to just get like faces kind of popping into this like ether stuff. But nevertheless, like I said, man, this trailer looks dope. I'm so excited for this. Um, I I I'm sorry that the, the viewing. I was trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, so I'll pro I probably cut this up in some way that it plays a little bit better. But I'm so here for this, man. I, I'm pumped. I'm excited. Um, and like I said, more than anything, I am excited for you guys, the readers, the real fans. Um, I, I just love when fandoms get get an opportunity. To, to live in a world where their things come to life on the big screen. That's been happening to me for most of the last decade or two um, when it comes to comic books and just things that I love. So I love getting to see this for other fandoms and I love that you guys are so accepting and want you know to bring in newbies like myself. And like I think you all know like the, the, the new people are almost just as important to pulling in as the book readers because that's what gets you your big ass audience and that's what gets you season after season after season. I'm pretty sure uh, during their Comic-Con panel for New York Comic-Con, they mentioned that season two, I think, is already starting production. Um, so good things coming for the Wheel of Time. I am very excited. I am going to stop talking because I'm probably taking up way too much of all your time uh, today. Now I want to know what you're thinking, man. I'm talking to you, the book fans, first and foremost. What about this trailer got you excited that the teaser trailer didn't give you? You know, like I said, I think we for, for a non-reader, I like seeing a little bit more of the story around the group that we have, understanding a little bit more of the good and evil, getting to see the creatures. What stuff popped for you? What are the names of these creatures? You guys, give, give me the book info. What things was I like reacting to or calling out that I didn't know or I should need to know some info on? Uh, like I said, I love getting to hear things from you guys. So anything that stood out to you in this trailer, as long as it's not going to spoil the story, give me all the details you guys can give me. Uh, if you are not a book fan, what do you think, man? Is this up your alley? Are you a fantasy fan? You know, do you like Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, maybe, uh, you know, something like Shadow and Bone? Um, you know, is that your realm? Does that make this something that you're very interested in, something that you want to check out uh, and, and see how it plays? Um, you know, anything that you've got on the Wheel of Time, whether you've read the books, you haven't read the books, this is your first experience, you've seen the teaser, whatever you got, man. Good, bad, indifferent 
on the Wheel of Time goes down below in the comments section. Look forward to talking to you all down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, you want to come hang out with the C-Man anytime. We're talking movies, TV, trailer reactions. You want to be here for all my coverage in and around the Wheel of Time. I've had several of you uh, fans tell me, like, if I do those week-by-week -week reviews, you guys are here for that stuff. So if you want to see a newbie, not, uh, you know, kind of just take in the world for the first time, week by, by week, you want to be here for all that. You just like what I'm doing around TV, movies, trailer reactions. You want to show a little love, support the old C-Man, and you have it? Well, hey, why don't you uh, just come join C-Maniac Nation? It's super easy. All you got to do is jump over there, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell if you want those alerts, and until next time, for the C-Man Cinema, sit down. I've been the C-Man. I'm signing off. Peace. Oh, hey, what's going on? Uh, you must be sticking around because you're looking for more content feature in this guy. Well, guess what? You're in the right place. You can check out more videos right here and right here. Uh, and if you have and you want to come join that C-Maniac Nation, you can hit that subscribe right over there.